about time. That was a gentle, gentle little drop. Good morning, well, it's actually good afternoon. It was raining all morning. Um, finally got some time to get out on the water here. It's like four o'clock. Yeah, this is, uh, I got one more day left on Canyon Lake, and unfortunately, I haven't really uh, got on any crappie. Bluegill and some bass. Um, this lake really isn't known for being the best crappie lake in Texas, but there are some in here. I've seen pictures of them, and, and the, I think I saw one video but most of the videos are of striper and white bass fishing. So I'm gonna try one spot I talked to a local and they told me go here if you want your best chance at catching a crappie. So that's where I'm gonna try this afternoon. If I can't find them, I might just go bass fishing. Um, I've been catching quite a few smaller largemouth on this little beetle spin here. A little beetle spin set up, something like that. But so yeah, hopefully I can make this uh, a crappie fishing trip. <laughs> I need to catch at least one to make it a crappie fishing trip. So let's get the boat in the water, get to fishing. Well, I finally found them. It took a while, but uh, there's my buoy right, right there. There's my buoy. They're a lot deeper than I thought they'd be, to be honest with you. I, I honestly thought they'd be less than 10 feet. I caught one crappie off camera. Here's a little snapshot of it. I, I was probably fishing, I don't know, 13, 14 feet with a little beetle spin. Uh, but there's crappie right here. I'm in 25 feet of water or 20, 23 feet. And there's big trees coming up that, cause this is the flooded river way. I should have came up here the first day. Uh, the water clarity, it's super stained compared to the main part of the lake. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have came straight up here and here I'll show you on the, on the screen. Right there. That's the top of the tree and there it's just covered with fish. I've already caught one. Wasn't the, uh, wasn't the biggest one, but it is a crappie. So I'm gonna drop down with a very small jig, 45th, or 148th ounce. That's the size of jig, 148th ounce size jig and a uh, crappie monster firefly, a little pink and chartreuse action. So I'm gonna put you on the live scope so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, let's get set up. Okay, so this is what I'm using. It's a very, very small setup. I was, I downsized the line. This is four pound mono. Uh, I gotta be pretty careful when I'm jigging in these trees. This is extremely light, but I was fishing the clear water on the main part of the lake and I thought, you know, the braid or any type of like eight pound mono would be a little too much. So I played a cautious with the small diameter mono. There's the fish. There they are. This is a 48 ounce jig head, 48 ounce, really small, just a swim. It's like a swim jig style body. Nothing too complicated with it right there. And then this is the crappie monster firefly. I was actually, I was trying to use these on a drop shot because I think the bass really would like these. They kind of look like a mayfly before it attaches. So, okay, where's those fish at? All right, here we go. Yep, there they are. See them all stacked up on that tree? So let's drop this down here and get on them. On my jig. There's two separate trees. This one's the tallest one, and there's a smaller tree way down there. There's my jig dropping down right there. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him right on the drop. They're not big at all. Oh no. Got in a dink school. These are tiny, tiny crappie. Oh my goodness. That's a bait fish. Well, you know what? I'll take it this trip. It's been three days. I should have gone upstream right away, but I tried some brush piles out on the main part of the lake thinking that would be better. It wasn't. 
I might switch to a bigger jig head to see if that gets a bigger fish. There goes my jig. Whoop. There it is. Here comes one. Oh, he missed it. Here's my jig head dropping back down right there. Here comes another one. Man, that was a light bite. Come on, let's get another one. Here he comes. Er, got him that time. He doesn't feel big at all. No, these are not big crappie, but I'll take it. I, I did want to show the live scope a little more on some deeper trees. I don't get the fish this very often. If you can see, there's trees sticking up out of the water. And the, I mean, this is almost 40 feet deep and the trees are still 20 feet above the water. Uh, flooded reservoirs, We, I don't get to fish a whole lot of structure like this up in northern Wisconsin or even Minnesota. So this is definitely fun. I understand the appeal to vertically jigging these submerged trees instead of just brush piles. You can see the, where, where'd they go? Oh, hold on. Let me get the jig and frame for you. The tree's actually behind the boat, but I th let's see if we can get one to come off that. Oh, there's some more stuff. There's a ton of them on that tree. So this is directly below my boat right now where the zero mark is. My jig's probably five feet out in front. I just want to see if we can get a, something to come out and hit it from that tree. There goes my jig, straight down. I think I'm gonna hit the top of that tree. See it falling? Come on, somebody come up and hit it. I might have to switch up colors. Already. Here it comes. Oh, I missed him. I came shooting up out of nowhere. It's gotta be a couple big ones up on the base of that tree. There he is. Oh no! Did he just break me off? I think he did. Yes, he did. I'm gonna go with the braid. <laughs> Definitely switching up to the braid now. And I'm gonna go bigger jig head. Okay, bigger jig head here. Quarter or one six? Let's go with one sixteenth first. All right, switch it up with the uh, ten pound braid, and then I switch it up to the reel. This is actually the same reel I was using for some bass fishing earlier. 2,000 size, highly recommend if you're a multi-species fisherman, 2,000 size reel. There goes the jig. Come on. Somebody come up and hit. That looks like a fish right there. Let's see if they're, they're bothered by the braid or not. Here comes one. Oh, dang it. They're not bothered because I just had two hits. Dang. They're really, really, they're all really, really small, or I just. There he is. That feels like a bigger one. Bigger than the last few. Still not a good size crappie.
Come on. Where's your, where's your big brother or big sister? It's still only like a six inch fish. Five inch fish. Here comes one. That's not very big. Swung and a miss. Come on, hit it again. There he is, got him. He's not very big. They are Texas crappie though. My first Texas crappie ever. Well, that guy got chewed up a little bit. Well, I got a pretty big rain cloud coming in and they said it was gonna be thunderstorms tonight. So let's see if we can get one more fish because I got about a 15 minute run back to the boat ramp. I don't mind fishing in the rain, but my camera gear, eh, not so much. Not so much. Let's find my jig here. Where the heck did you go? I'm on this bigger section of timber. And a lot of times the timber just looks like this. There might be a couple fish stacked up, but it doesn't look like a huge giant pool. There's a few fish down there. Oh, there's one coming up. There's a couple after him. Unless I just hit the, I think I just hit the log. Sometimes you hit the log and it brings up a big air bubble. Oh no, it's raining pretty good now. I gotta put my camera gear away. Whoa, there we go. Well, that's actually gonna wrap it up for me today. I got a big uh, rainstorm coming in behind me there. So appreciate you watching. I know this trip, oh no. This trip kind of wasn't what I was hoping for, but I still had a pretty good time. I got one more morning left and I'm gonna come to this exact spot. Okay, I gotta get out of here. It's starting to rain pretty good. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and click that bell. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for live updates. All right, we'll see ya.